We're here in Singapore. As you can tell, this place is insane. There's some kind of generator in the background, but uh, also a very nice lily pond. Yeah, Singapore is just crazy. The infrastructure here is nuts. It's like one of the cleanest places ever, too. Not a lot of smoke, not a lot of spit gum on the sidewalk. So you get arrested for that. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about the difference between a freelancer and a business owner. So I was just listening to a Seth Godin podcast with Tim Ferriss, and it reminded me of this distinction, which we talk about a lot in the Work From Anywhere Accelerator, uh, in when we talk about running a business, starting a company, how to figure out how you should structure it, all these things. But there is a big difference between being a business owner and being a freelancer. A lot of people, they start a agency, as they call it, and what they do is they go out there and they get clients and they just create jobs for themselves. So now instead of one boss, maybe they have five different bosses. And the reason this happens is because they're selling their time instead of results. So what they do is they go out there and they'll do anything for anyone. So if the client wants a new landing page, they'll do that. If the client wants emails, they'll do that. If they want a sales page, they'll do that. If the client says change that to this, they'll do that. The point is the client is in control here. So what has this agency owner done? They've created a boss for themselves who calls the shots. They determine how much they work. They determine what they work on. They determine which projects are getting done. And so when we start our agencies, we want to run things a little different than that because we want to maintain control. If you want to be the entrepreneur, not the freelancer, you have to call the shots. You have to be able to decide which projects are getting done. And you also want to get paid based on your results that you provide and not your time. So it shouldn't matter to your client if it takes you one minute or a hundred hours to produce the result. They should pay the same amount no matter what. So what's the difference between a, in a freelancer and a business owner? Well, the business owner has systems and they sell their system to the client. We call that funnel cloning with the agency model. Basically means we have one set product that we deliver to our client. It's the funnel, it's the follow-up, it's the ads, but we specialize and niche down so that it's the same for every client because if it was vastly different, then we're gonna end up in a freelancer situation. But if we work in a niche and the product we deliver is the same every time, then we can end up as business owners because we'll get paid for our product, not for our time. But if you work with any kind of client, any kind of client at all, and you do all the work yourself, you're gonna be a freelancer. So the other way to be a business owner as an agency owner is to have employees. So you can use white label service providers. That's when somebody provides the ads for you. So you go out there, you sell the client, you get the client, the white label provider actually does the ads, runs the ads. Um, or you could have contractors that you use to help you with the process, or you could have in-house employees when you get big enough. The people that actually work for you full time. And there's a guy skateboarding the boom box and a full helmet and a camera. It's distracting. Um, where was I? Yeah, to be a business owner, you are in charge of generating the revenue and then you have a team provide the results. So in, in any of these instances, the point is that you want a predictable result that you are delivering that doesn't depend wholly on your time because if no one else can deliver this result but you and it's different every single time, you're gonna end up with a bunch of different bosses and a job for yourself that you've created, which is good at first. It's a good way to learn. It's a good way to learn working with lots of different clients, but eventually you're gonna burn out. And so it can't depend on you forever. So the way we do this, get out of this is called funnel cloning. We talk about this all the time where you can rent one funnel out to you know, tons of different amounts of clients as long as they have the same kind of business. Now, a lot of people, when they get started, they don't want to niche down because they think they're limiting their options. Like I said, in the very beginning, this is okay. If you go out there, work with a couple different types of clients, figure out the clients that you actually like to work with. You believe in what they do in their business. You like working with them. They're good people. And you can get consistent results for them. Because you might go out there, work with five different types of clients when you start and find that one specific type of client, let's say you work with dietitians and figure out, wow, you can get really great results for dietitians. You might decide to niche down and then from then on out, that's your business. But eventually you want to make that decision to niche down. A lot of times we talk about franchises with this model. So if you look at McDonald's, 
what does McDonald's do? They sell their system to people that want to own a McDonald's business. So when you go to your local McDonald's down the street, on the street corner, that McDonald's is owned by a franchisee, and that means they pay the McDonald's corporation to use that system. So the same thing's gonna happen with your system. You create the system, you know it works, and then you just distribute that across the country over and over again. So if you work with a dietitian in Maryland and you wanna get a new dietitian client in Utah, you just use the same system in different locations, just like a McDonald's would. So that's the difference between a freelancer and a business owner. A uh, business owner, you are actually selling a system and a result, and as a freelancer, you're selling your time, and you'll do anything for anyone. You take orders from the client. So I would recommend, as we're sitting here in Singapore, if you want the freedom to take trips and travel around the world and do things like that, let's make sure that we're building a business, okay? Let's not build a new job for ourselves. It's gonna be hard work either way, but one has long-term payoff. So if you want help figuring out how to set up your agency with funnel cloning so that you get paid for the results you produce and not the time that you work, come check out the Work From Anywhere Accelerator. We like to call it WFA, digitalnomad.com, and I will see you on the inside.